hello so uh i'm gonna be opening this it's um a game boy got dr mario in it um and we're gonna be opening it up and cleaning some of it um so what you're gonna need is um well something to lay it on this is a microfiber cloth it works really well then we have well the game boy i have a screwdriver kit I should have gotten this out beforehand, but you're going to need a small tri-wing. So if I can get it out, if I can get it out, you'll, one second, you're going to want a small one and then maybe a larger one. And then you're also going to want um, some Phillips heads. And then you'll also want some Q-tips for cleaning, some bowls for screws. And this is just a bowl full of isopropyl alcohol. We're going to be using that to clean contacts. Um, the view is going to be slightly limited. I'm sorry for that. I just have a bunch of game cases that I'm stacking this on. So, let me get my screwdriver with the Y-wing in it. What we're going to do is first take out the cartridge, place that to the side, and out. We're going to get these batteries off there should be four double a's to remove come on and the last one boom empty battery compartment uh set these batteries to the side if they aren't dead you'll use them later so we have four screws uh, here and then two screws in the battery compartment so i'm gonna get onto that and I'll try to get it as well into frame as I can. This. Here we go. Final screw. Now, I'm going to hold this with one hand because this is actually really important. So when you're opening up, be careful because look at that giant ribbon cable. It's gigantic. And that connects to the screen to the, to like over here the uh well the motherboard because this front part is just all screen and buttons and speaker and this is all the actually one second is, did that blow up oh no okay that did not blow up that was like that before okay great um and with all electronics uh capacitors uh, capacitors can blow up these things and those two um, and those blow up you have to re-solder something that's similar to it to the board and that's hard <laughs> but we're going to angle the phone again uh, I'm gonna have that make sure to lean this back part on something so that it doesn't fold over you're gonna have I think there's 10, let me count. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, sorry for the background noise. Um, there's around like 8 or 9 screws. That's, if you're having screw bits, like, where's the camera? Like these? If you just have something, make sure they fit first. And see what's the best. Maybe a J1 will work. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to use this one. It's the biggest one. And we're going to put this away. Put in a safe spot. And then, boom. I'm going to try and get this into frame as best as possible. But I'm very limited right now. Boom. Okay. Now we need, kind of need to wiggle this a bit and should be able to lift up. It, you, it's going to feel like it's bending. If it does, be careful, but it, it's coming out. There we go. We got to pop on this side. I just need to pop on this side. There we go. There we go. Yeah. It's away from the board. Now, you can flip this, you see, screen, contacts, all of that. You can put this to 
to the side and then here this is all like button contacts as you can see they're a bit nasty especially that one and these buttons are terrible the start and select buttons because they're just they do not like to work so i'm gonna clean these up and as well as you can just kind of pop these out so you have a shell now and you have some buttons and a d-pad so what you're going to want to do is put these buttons and these contacts in a little bowl of isopropyl for just like a little bit. You can go bloop, 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 bloop. Make sure they're as evenly spaced out as you can. And if you get your fingers in there, wash your hands. So I'm going to do another film or video. Uh, after I'm done. Okay, uh, hi. So it's a little later. Um, the buttons were soaking, but now they're in this towel and they are dry. Wow. And uh, I have it flipped this way. The only thing you miss is that I clean the contacts. I had some stuff to do. So um, let me get this all rearranged. And that. So we're at a point where we kind of just have to find out what we want to do because I need a, we could either put back on the front case or we could try and get to the back. I kind of want to put on the front case before we go into the back because of the screen. So we are going to put the buttons back in here and then we're gonna attach the back, the front case to the screen and the front half of the board. And then we're gonna go to the back case. So all you're gonna need to do is, since the A and B buttons aren't marked, you don't, there's not like a certain one. They just lock in like that. Doot, doot, doot. Then you get your second one. And then you get that one in. That's the D pad. And then we have our start and select. And that should line up like that. Those pads... Oh no, the pads are fine. So then, we just need to do this. Get these contacts on. Like so. Doot doot. Those are our buttons. And... This is the D-pad. Boom. Now, we need to... While holding these, we need to line it up. We, we might mess it up, but that's okay. What I suggest is trying again. Okay, I'm back. Uh, camera angle is still weird, but um, I got the buttons on, and we are going to rescrew in this back panel. Um, in one bowl, you should have the Phillips screws from this side. And we're just gonna put them back in. Okay, important bit. Um, before we go to the second side, kind of close it up, grab your batteries, just slide them in real quick, like so. Because even if you're stopping here and getting everything put back in and such, you still need to check to see if everything works. So put in a cartridge and does it work? A button inputs. Speaker works, contrast dial works. You gotta make sure that buttons work. Yup, buttons work. Oh wait, no, don't say I, oh no. That's a problem. I think I messed up the start and select. Ah, uh, no, my start and select buttons are sunken in a bit. So I gotta, ugh. Okay, the video's gonna be longer than I suspected. Let me rip out the batteries, put them to the side, and now I have to take on the cartridge and we 
at minimum, need to do some finagling. Complicated. Okay, that part's done. Now, we're gonna scooch on over here. This is gonna be way spookier, because actually, it might not be. There's just two screws over here, and then screws over here, holding the back compartment. But you're gonna need to have a good, you need to be good at holding or a screwdriver, using a screwdriver with one hand. Now we're going to try and gently pick, oh, oh, that's coming out easily. Um, there we go, everything's out. Here is the motherboard, if you wanted to see that. Okay, switch is fine. I'm still going to put some isopropyl in there. You just give it a nice little scrub. That was no liquid at all. Yep. Get it nice in there. Then okay, now you got it all roped up, just kind of oh, dude, look at all these round capacitors, they look like phone tags but yeah, this is still contained with the ribbon cable, so we're gonna just set this aside and we're going to see what's up with this. Oh, this, the inside just sticky? Is that what's wrong? Okay, yeah, the inside is just sticky. So, let's give this a nice clean. Boom. Start, select buttons, put in the batteries, put in Dr. Mario, let's see if it works. Yep. Everything works. It's great. So now, we're gonna need to take out the batteries again. And then, we're going to take these six screws. Oh, change your bit to the Y-wing so that you can put in the screws. And once we get that, you can do a bit of this, and we're gonna screw this all in. Then our Game Boy, at least the internals, are going to be mostly clean and have fixed everything we need to fix. Boom. Now we can put in the link cable connector cover we can put in the game cartridge and we can put in our batteries there and I am dumb and put those batteries in wrong I don't know how but I'm just never good with batteries um, and then we put on the battery cover and boom you're done Good job. Yay. Bye.